Hello, hello everyone I'm in my room. I've been having too much fun with Snapchat. If y'all have Snapchat, you can follow me, links below in the description, or like my Snapchat name. But, if you have it, you know they have these things called lenses, and it's like you can do fun stuff, and oh my gosh. It can be a little frustrating sometimes, because I think you're just supposed to tap the screen or hold your finger on your face, and then like, in the bottom corner, like, options pop up. And it doesn't work every time, so I'm just like, ah, with the thing getting frustrated. It's fairly new. I was watching some other people I follow on Snapchat, and they're just like, how do I barf rainbows? Like, they were getting frustrated. <laughs> anyway, um, I got a lint roller, so if you hear weird noises, that's that. Um, woo, kind of cool, actually. Cool noise. Um, my cat is shedding like crazy. Actually, first of all, before I went away, a little spider crawled into my bed, and I couldn't catch it and find it, but my guess is it's not in my bed anymore. My bed's naked. Um, so yesterday, I finally washed my sheets and everything, including, like, my quilt, because my cat's black and white, as you should know, and when she sits on something for a while, she has her hair all over it, and then it's like a big black, grayish mess. So my pretty mint green quilt was looking a little, ooh. Um, and every time in my room, my nose runs, wicked allergies. So I need to do some dusting and all that. Speak of the devil, here she comes. So she, I washed my sheets, but I didn't have time to put them on last night because it was late and I like, was tired and passed out. So she has some cat hair on my quilt. What do you call this thing? Like a quilt protect? No, this is a mattress pad. This is what this is, you guys. And so I'm trying to get some of the cat hair off of it before I put the fitted sh sheet on, which I like to call a diaper because it's like, oh, that thing is in itself is so tricky to put it on. And I'm getting good bits of this off as long as it's not mainly on my side of the bed but hers. She has to live with it, not me. We'll just call that good then, shall we? Oh my gosh. She is so adorable over there. My room is a mess. Oh wait, where is she? She's over there somewhere. But, <laughs> but yes. So, I'm having too much fun doing anything to avoid making my bed. And speaking of, so, I'm pretty sure I took like all the pillowcases off yesterday um and now like a minute ago pardon me for a second I just put all of the pillowcases that I had in this laundry basket in the hallway um I put them on pillows and not every pillow has a pillowcase so I'm like where did they all go I swear, it's like socks in the dryer. Like, what the heck? So, it's 5.11. I'm getting hungry, and I don't know if I really made a big dent in my list. I had brain training today. That took, that was an hour and a half. So, an hour and a half of my time. Oh my gosh, are these, what is this? I think it's a pillowcase, you guys. That was nestled, and now it's really wrinkled inside my fitted sheet. And here's a little perpetrator herself. I think we now know where the missing pillowcases go in the fitted sheet. Oh, good news. Pillows are not gonna be naked. At least one more isn't. Is there just one in here? Squeaky, you need to get off this bed or I'm going to make you in it. Um, take this pillowcase. Over here, I just got a notification on my phone. That graveyard girl just uploaded a video. So excited. Why are you sitting in my spot? I'm just trying to get your hair off of here. Um, so. Oh, ow. Ooh, I washed my sheets to get the spider out of here. And just because one person who has good hygiene uh, keeps their sheets clean. And since when I first put these on my bed, First time I've washed them, they're 
new sheets from Costco, and they're so soft. My mom, one day she was in here, and she took a nap. Before she fell asleep, she's like, these sheets are heaven. And I'm like, well, you got them for me, so thank you. My little dream catcher here fell over. Does anyone else collect, like, dream catchers and Native American stuff? I do. Woo! So, I have stories for you guys, but I need to make the bed, so we'll see what happens. When you shake the sheet a couple of times, your cat eventually gets off the bed, and she's all the way across my room. In the corner over there. Let's see, can we find her? I see her. Wait, by the pop up hamper. Keep going. You probably do you see that. I guess the room's a mess. Uh, see, I have things that I need to hang up on the wall and I need help with that. So, hence, that's why there's some stuff on the floor. The rest of it I have to put away. Some of it I can't put away till I finish filming certain videos for you guys, so I have it out and about. I got my sheet on, the fitted one. Apparently it wasn't that difficult. <laughs> Thanks for a giant tag in the back. Um, so I need to obviously the rest of my bed back together. I think my quilt is still in the dryer. Like I, I you know, ran it to dry, but I didn't take it out, so... I have to wash, I was going to wash Squeaky's blanket, which I'm still debating because maybe I don't need to, but I'm thinking if it's nice and clean, and I put it over here on her side of the bed, she'll sit on that. The goal is to have her sit on a little pink blanket. She can get that as dirty as she wants with her hair, her fur, and then I just can wash it occasionally. Down here below, uh, can you see that? Her cat bed. <laughs> On this floor lamp, it doesn't go with my new decor that I'm working on, although everything goes with shirtless Timberlake, but I have a hat collection. So I want to go to like Bed Bath and & Beyond and like get some hooks and things so I can hang my scarves and my hat and wow, this room is messy. <laughs> but oh my god, there's nothing like clean sheets in a bed. Well, you can just be like, ah, da, da. so cozy. Oh my god, I'm in love. I think, I don't know, I've had this mattress forever. My mom, this past year, she had a new mattress. Hers was like 20 years old. I've had this mattress since like middle school, like the eighth grade maybe. So it's been a while for sure. And I'm in love with it and attached to it but I think at some point I might want to get a new mattress but I figured that should be the last thing on my to-do list once my room is fully clean and everything's figured out if then I feel like I could benefit from a new mattress then I'll start looking into them I'm like all over the place physically and mentally and all sorts of things but basically um just wanted to update you guys on my life, and that is my room is a mess. I have piles of stuff everywhere. I have magazines I need to read and then rip out what I want and what I don't want to throw it out. And, oh my. And then I was downstairs, I was looking for something in the washing machine. <laughs> in the washing machine, you know, in, the, in like the laundry room, there you go. It was like the washing machine room. The laundry room, and I found disinfectant wipes. They're either Lysol or Clorox brand, but it doesn't matter. Or they could be generic. I don't know. And I'm just like, want to get the thing, rip those suckers out, and just wipe down all these surface areas, get rid of dust, dirt, and germs on the bed, on my nightstand, anywhere else. And then, but I should wear a mask or something if I'm going to be like actually sweeping up stuff off of the floor. Because it will kill my allergies, even though I've taken a Claritin and my Veramis, so a nasal spray and like an oral over-the-counter antihistamine. 
still, when I come in here, it's like my nose just runs. One nostril in particular, if we're going to be frank with one another. So, what did I do today? I had lunch. I had... Then I went to brain train. Like, I literally, like, I went to bed early. Like, midnight is early for me. I slept almost 1 o'clock. And then I had, like, a hot minute to get ready, make sure that I had eaten and all that. And then went to brain training, came home from brain training, farted around on Snapchat, procrastinating like usual, and now I'm still trying to finish this bed up so I can sleep in it tonight. Part of me didn't sleep in it last night because there wasn't any sheets on the bed, and also I was just so tired that I just was like, I could fall asleep right here in my mom's bed, so I did, instead of getting up and trying to, like, do stuff, and then end up waking myself up and being up all night long, because I cannot do another all-nighter. These past, since I came home from New Mexico, like, my sleep has been, like, horrendous, and I've been having, like, nights where I'm up till, like, four in the morning, like, it's really bad. So, I think my body finally was just like, you need sleep, woman. And I just, I'm like, okay, let's do this thing. And I slept from like 12 to 12, I don't know, at a lot of hours of sleep. And I still am very exhausted. I could hardly keep it together yesterday. And today feels like a big, I mean, every day is a struggle when you have insomnia and a, a different, you have two sleep disorders. The mornings are afternoons. And even then, those are bitch to get up and out of bed. And then when you have, like, anxiety and depression, it's even harder to get out of bed. You have a lot of things going against you. It is so difficult. But I managed somehow <laughs> to get up yesterday, and I don't know how I survived. And then today, I don't know how I'm doing it. I could just take a nap literally, like, right now. Just, like, give me a blanket and <sighs> out I go. But no. <laughs> But anyway, that is what's up with some stuff. So, if you like when I share things with you like this video, leave a comment or a suggestion or a question or whatever down below. Let me know. Otherwise, thank you guys so, so much for being here and for being with me. And as always, till next time, keep it quirky.